Holy <laughs> that's a big bowl of pho. <laughs> there is so much meat in here. Why did I wait so long to try this? So creamy and rich. Hey guys, I'm in the East Dallas Garland area. This area has a big Vietnamese population. I'm at a place I haven't been to in over 10 years. I can't wait to go inside and try it and see if it's still as good as I remember. It was a busy Saturday lunch crowd. Bistro B kind of reminds me of one of those local diners with its homey feel. Everyone seemed pretty happy and focused on scarfing their food. I don't blame them. The smell of food was making me hungry. I remember the egg rolls here. They have like a lot of different varieties of everything. This was the biggest menu I've ever seen. Like a wide variety of noodles, lots of different types of the noodle soups. Can I get the number 43? 43. 43, the seafood pa. We started out with sweet and sour dumplings. They were very tasty and filled with lots of meat. Oh my gosh. Look how those glisten. They're so shiny. Oh my God. I really like that you got a lot in an order. Not only a few like other places. Don't want to eat too many before my meal. Holy shit, that's a big bowl of pho. <laughs> Our pho arrived shortly after, and I almost fell out of my seat seeing the size of it. Most seafood pho usually has shrimp and imitation crab, but this looked like it had the whole ocean. Look at this. This has fish, imitation crab, ham, calamari, shrimp, fish cake. There is so much meat in here. Let's try this. It is so tender. Mm -hmm. That's a really tender piece of fish. This is twice the size of the place we go to normally. Never seen like anything this big. Mm. Oh yeah, this fuzz definitely as good as it looks. This broth is really good. It's not some places you go to for pho soup. The broth is salty. It feels like you're ready to have a heart attack or something. But this has perfect flavor. It's starting to get to be a struggle. I feel like I still have a lot of noodles left. Okay, I'm almost done. I can't eat any more. I ate most of it, although I left a few noodles behind. pretty full, but seeing all those treats they sold at the front motivated me to make room for dessert. Can I get them $4.89? I ordered a fruity jelly tea. It was pretty sweet and had some tasty fruit chunks. Oh, that's good. I found myself in Koreatown on Sunday after seeing a friend. I did some much needed shopping therapy and spoiled myself. I'm getting hungry and I have heard porridge is so amazing. So I'm here at Charmjook. Gonna give it a try, and I hope I like it. When I think of porridge, I have this mental image of mushy oatmeal, the kind I hated as a kid. What do I want? That looks good. Crayons call their rice porridge jook. There's a lot of options here, and they all look so good. The owner was really helpful in helping me decide what jook to order. I ordered the scallop and carrot one. I was very excited when I saw how big the bowl was. It was like carb heaven. Time to give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. So creamy and rich. The juke was savory and the carrots and scallops really went well with it. I guess this is why Goldilocks broke into the three bears house and ate their porridge. Bean sprouts, which are my favorite. Love these. My scalp joke came with bean sprouts and pickled veggies as side dishes. Why did I wait so long to try this? Mm. I especially liked how the pickled veggies lit my mouth on fire. Yikes. This is a really big bowl, but I have a feeling I'm going to eat it all in one sitting. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. So good. I'm going to get some more of this. I actually thought at first that when they said porridge, you know, you're thinking something like multiple meal, grits, oatmeal, but this is something different. I'm feeling so oinkish right now. I think this is probably big enough for two people, but I've eaten like more than half of it and I don't think I'm gonna have any kind of leftovers or anything. This was a lot of rice porridge, but I think it would be rude not to finish your food. I'm pretty sure I can manage these last few bites. I don't think I can eat much more. That is the damage I did. 
I literally cannot eat anything else. That porridge was so tasty. I'm gonna have to come back again and try one of each flavor. If you liked either of the places I went to, check out the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. Well, time for me to go home and be lazy after all that food. Thank you for watching. Bye now.